What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. And in this box, we have one of the most anticipated vehicles that came out back in November. So yes, here it is. The TRX 4M. I forget what color I got it in, but yeah. <laughs> so again, like I said, this back in November was one of the most anticipated vehicles that everybody wanted to have. And I kind of don't blame them because I wanted one too. And it's finally here. Uh, I mean, it took me a while to get it, but we finally got it. Enough of the jibber jabber, enough of the talking. Let's just get on with this guy. So, apparently I got the Area 51. I don't remember ordering the Area 51, but apparently got the Area 51. <laughs> so let's crack this guy open right now. And I'll be honest, I'm really excited about opening this guy up. Do -do -do -do. Drum roll, please. All right, so this guy wants to come out first. All right, so the first thing that we got out, I'm owner's manual. Hopefully, we have a couple Allen wrenches there, and T wrench, and some spring shock, whatever the hell these are called. I always forget what the hell they're called every time I make a video. But we got some of those too. Put that to the side. And now this guy. So of course, we have our basic Traxxas TQ controller. We also have Traxxas battery, 750 milliamp hour, two cell LiPo, 7.4 volt. And of course, we have also got the rig. Oh wait, and the charger. All right, here it is. TRX 4M. <laughs> so let's go on ahead and rip this guy off. All right, you guys, and here it is, the Traxxas TRX 4M. Ford Bronco in the Area 51 color. I do like the way this color comes out on the body as it is in real life. It just looks absolutely awesome and I love it. Um, so as we all know, this thing came out back in November and I was really not in a rush to get one. As much as I wanted to, I held off. One of the main reasons why I ended up picking this up is because of this guy. So one of the main things that I want to do is compare the TRX4M against the FCX24 from FMS. And I want to see how well each one does out of the box. This one I have upgraded the wheels, the tires, and of course everything, steering, the lower links, upper links, and oil fill the shocks. So I want to do a comparison against these two. Which one is better, the FCX24 or the Bronco? That's coming out in another video. Today we're talking about this guy. So, yes, I have been wanting to get the TRX4M for a while, but I waited because I wanted to do a comparison. And now that I got this guy, I like it. I really do. <laughs> Before I go to the rig, let's go with the controller. So with the Traxxas controller for this thing, oh, you guess your steering trim your throttle, 
your steering. That's it. Um, that's it. There's no adjusting endpoints for the throttle, adjusting endpoints for the steering. This is as basic as basic can be. Which is cool because, you know, it kept the price down on it. I think if they were to go with a TQI controller for this, that this thing probably be, I don't know, maybe the Kyosho uh, micro cars, maybe the Kyosho price range, $200, just about. But the fact that they kept it, you know, as basic as basic can be to keep the pricing range down, I can dig it. I'm good with it. I'm cool with it. I'm okay with that. But I also heard, uh, I also saw from RC Review that you can get a TQI controller and connect it to the ESC here and you can use it without an issue. So let's get on, take this body off and see what we got here. So again, these clips are very, very easy to take off the body. Very easy to take the body off. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. Now, the TRX4M does come with 1.0 wheels. They are not bead locks. Uh, one thing that Traxxas did not do, again, to keep pricing so low, was that they did not glue the tires on here, which I'm actually glad they didn't, just for the main fact that from what I've read and heard, I'm sorry, from what I saw and heard, is that these tires are actually pretty good that Trax has put on here. So I'm actually glad that they didn't glue them because you can just take these tires off, get a pair of uh, 1.0 wheels, take these tires off, and there you go. You got wheels, tires. You just use these tires. Uh, so this thing does have a uh, axle mounted servo. Uh, it has a Titan 180. 87 turn motor you have your rubber strap here for the battery and your and your Traxxas ECM 2.5 ESC uh, you do have lights on the front bumper here as you can see with that blue connector right there there you go that blue connector right there you do have the lights for the bumper and you have an another slot right there that you can hook up lights. Now, Traxxas does have a bunch, and I mean a bunch of upgrades for this little guy, as does other companies. There are a lot of companies out there that have a lot of stuff for this little guy. So, this thing does come with GTM oil-filled shocks, which they seem, they don't seem too bad, really. Now, the chassis on here is metal chassis. Everything else that connects the chassis together is all plastic. It's a hard plastic, which is nice. You have your straight axles. No portals here like the TRX4M. I'm sorry. No portals here like the regular TRX4. Uh, they went with straight axles, which it's kind of nice that they went with straight axles just to make it look more scale than it having portal axles. Now underneath, underneath you do have your four links in the front, four way links in the rear. They are all plastic. Uh, your drive shaft plastic, a nice flat belly under here where your transmission sits on top of. And the same thing in the back with the rear links, plastic drive shaft in the rear there. And in the rear is actually where the ESC sits. And the front, of course, that's the front and this is the rear. So in the front here, you do have bushings. You do not have bearings there in the front. In the rear, I believe there are also bushings. I believe it's just bushings all the way around. Um, metal gears in the diffs, front and rear. Uh, I believe it's plastic gears in the, or composite metal, and then plastic gears in the transmission, I believe it is. Um, 
But yeah, there it is. So, let's put a battery on this thing. Let's take it outside and let's see how this thing is. Let's go.
All right, guys. So with the TRX4M that I have on the little mini crawl course that I made over here, uh, it didn't do too bad. The biggest issue that I see it having is the fact that it has the uh, speed gears in it. It does not have the low torque gears, the crawling gears. Uh, I believe that if this thing were to have the lower crawling gears, that it would do a lot better. Um, last time I brought the FCX24 out here, it's the, that thing did great on here. And uh, I believe that if this thing had this lower gears on it, that it would be a better competitor. Um, I think that's the only drawback that this thing is really having on this little course that I have is the high speed gear. Um, you can't really control it well, but it didn't do too bad. Uh, I did do a modification on this thing. Let's go inside and I'll show you guys. All right, you guys, so we are back in the office. And as you guys can see, I did a modification on this thing. I like the way it came out, but at the same time, I kind of want to change it up a little bit. So hopefully you guys do notice it. I did add some limb risers on the front here, and I think that looks awesome. I love the way it looks. The only issue that I kind of don't like about it is the front here, the way I did the front on both sides. I kind of don't like that, but you know, for right now, I think it looks pretty good. I gotta figure out a different way to have this part in the front here done. But all in all, I think that it came out pretty good. Not too bad. I think the limb risers look good on here. What do you guys think? Hit me down in the comments section. And uh, if you guys wanna know what I used to make the limb risers, hit me down in the comment section below and I will let you guys know. Um, but yeah, so I believe that with the lower gears for this thing, with the crawler gears for this, it will do a lot better. Uh, more than likely, it is going to slow it down, but it is what it is. <laughs> It is what it is with this guy, but I think it did pretty well. The tires on here, I think did very, very well. Uh, as you guys saw, as I was got binded up in a couple areas there, it didn't want to go. So the gears for this thing is definitely, definitely not for crawling. It did do pretty good in that grass area when I went to turn around, but um, not too bad so one of the things i'm going to wind up doing for this is i'm going to get the low gears for it we're going to put the low gears on it and we are going to test it out against this guy so we're going to put it up against this guy i am in the process of putting this completely back to stock as you guys can see i at least got the wheels back on and all of the links and everything all the stock ones are all back on here again as you guys can see i just gotta put the cover of the topper back on and i'm gonna run that against this and see which one comes out better again out of the box stock out of the box that's going to be in the next video so stay tuned for that and uh hope to see you guys in the next one you all have a good one and you guys keep our seeing